Okay, so we're going to start our lesson on biological molecules by talking about monomers and polymers. Monomers and polymers. I like to break down words for my students, and so mono means one. So monomer is one piece of a biological molecule. Poly means multiple. So polymers are going to be multiple pieces of a macromolecule or biological molecule. So I'm going to use sugar as my example. And I'm going to be more specific. I'm going to use glucose. Glucose is C6H12O6, a formula that you'll probably get pretty familiar with in biology. And so the way that we draw sugars is we put a corner for every carbon because the carbons are important when it comes to sugars. And so if I'm drawing a glucose, you can see here there's six carbons. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six corners. And I don't even have to draw the formula when I'm talking about sugars. A scientist will see this and go, oh, six corners, that's glucose, C6H12O6. Okay, so glucose is a monomer. It is one piece of a biological molecule. Now, if we wanted to make a longer chain of sugar, we can connect more monomers together. And when you connect monomers together, this becomes what we call a polymer. So polymers are multiple monomers connected together. Now, I want to talk to you about how we join monomers together to make a polymer. So when we look at our glucose molecules, they end in hydroxides. So you have a hydroxide on each end. And so if I draw another glucose molecule over here, it's also going to end in a hydroxide. And so if we want to connect these two glucoses together, if we want to connect these two monomers together, we're going to use a process called dehydration synthesis. Now, whenever you have the word synthesis, remember that's building something, that's putting something together. And dehydration would be removing water. So if you're dehydrated, you don't have enough water. And so dehydration synthesis is building something by removing water. And so we want these two molecules to come together. And the way that that's gonna happen is by connecting these two hydroxides. The way that you can do that is by removing H2O, which is a molecule of water. And so if I get rid of an H and an O and another H, that leaves us an oxygen that they can form a bond around. And so by removing water, we were able to connect these two monomers together. So dehydration synthesis is how we form large biological molecules by removing water. Now this takes energy, so a living thing has to do this. One of the more humorous ways that I help my students remember this is I talk about these two monomers of sugar, and they both have a crush on each other, and they're going to go on a date. Well, if you go on a date with an attractive piece of sugar, you might be a little nervous. And so let's say that you go to hold hands for the first time. Well, when you're nervous and you go to hold hands, what happens? your hands start to sweat. And so when they hold hands for the first time, what's gonna happen is you're gonna release a water molecule. Hi. Hey, I'm glucose. People say I'm really sweet. I've never met another monosaccharide before. Have you ever been a polymer with any other sugars before? No, I've always been a monomer. Would you like to get together sometime? Sure. Now, if you want to separate monomers, if you want to break them apart, you're going to do a process that is called hydrolysis. Now, remember that hydro means water, and lysis means to cut. So this is cutting with water. 
hydrolysis. And so if you want to get these two to separate, so you got these two sweet sugars that like each other, they're familiar with each other, you want to separate them, you're going to spray them with water, you're going to add a drop of water. And so if you add an H2O, what's going to happen is they're going to take that H2O and they're going to separate back into their two hydroxides. And so now you have two monomers, they're no longer connected, they are no longer a polymer. So the way that we separate polymers into monomers is with hydrolysis, and the way that we connect monomers together to make a polymer is dehydration synthesis. Now, hydrolysis does not take any energy. If you leave biological molecules in water, they dissolve, they break apart because the water is going to cut them. It's hydrolysis cutting with water.